Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about test scenarios related to CAPTCHA functionality. This is very important functionality. Normally, this feature will be available in most of the application, especially if you are dealing with web-based application or mobile-based application. So we will be using this CAPTCHA functionality. So we will try to understand what is all about a captcha so as per wikipedia the by definition captcha is a kind of a challenge and response test normally which will be used to determine whether the application which is accessed is a human being or a computer so in order to verify whether the application is being accessed by a human or a robot or a bot in that time we will be using the captcha functionality so captcha functionality will look like something like this so if you can see right they will be asking an email id after entering an email id you can submit a form now what happens if we don't provide this captcha it may happen that people can write a program just to keep entering junk email ids and click on submit now because of this your website's resources will be getting blocked your server may go down or server may not respond if other users are trying to access your application in order to verify whether i am a human being or a bot so because of that there is an introduction of a captcha where we will be asking to verify whether you are a robot or not if you are not a robot just click on this checkbox then after entering email ids application will take to the next step that is the main purpose now we will try to understand what are the various uh, different types of captcha is available in our web application or a mobile application this is uh, the first type of uh, captcha application we have which is uh, recaptcha test recaptcha where it will have only one option one checkbox will be there whenever user clicks on this checkbox then it assumes that the person who is accessing this application is not a robot it it is a human being that is the basic minimum test cases we can write for this kind of recaptcha then the next type of captcha is text based captcha the text will be displayed something like this the person has to look this text and he has to enter here all the text from the top to this field that is a validation we should make the first scenario which you can write here is we have to validate the captcha we have to validate the captcha whether it is coming as per your requirement or a functionality that is the first thing we should ensure now the second one is after captcha displays in your web page or a mobile application then we should be able to refresh the screen or a page whenever we try to refresh the page then the this captcha whatever the text which is seen here you should get refreshed because complete page is getting refreshed then this captcha also should reload with a new captcha in it then the third scenario is whatever the characters or a text which is being displayed here it should be very much readable format and it should be able to read in a normal eyes and and based on this text the user should be able to enter in this text field you should validate this text field also as per the text field guidelines i have already done the separate video on the text field you can refer that video then the next type is you should also see that if there is a case sensitivity is there in this captcha text then the same you should enter in this text field as well then you should validate for both correct and incorrect captcha you should put the valid captcha text into this text field and verify whether it can navigate to the next page or next functionality if i provide an incorrect captcha then you should throw an error message saying that you have not entered the right text which is displayed on the top into this text field that validation also you should make it should only proceed further when both this captcha text whatever we entered here both should match then only you should take to the next page and also if you can see right there is a one more item is there especially this they have done it for accessibility people who have a issue in reading this text they have an option of audio as well whenever we click on this audio icon the captured text will come in a audio format after listening that audio 
people can enter even if you do a refresh click here then the captcha should get refresh you should get a different uh, text altogether help icon is there whenever we click on this there should be an help mechanism should be available just to tell to the user this is how you should operate in this captcha screen this is a purely a maths based captcha here the text is not present it is just a numbers there is a some addition subtraction division multiplication it can have many complex maths equations as well which they can provide here just to ensure that you are a real human person is accessing this application so let us understand what are the various uh, different test scenarios which we can write here one is by default the captcha should display then again the refreshing as we discussed earlier whenever we do a refresh your captcha should display a different uh, random captcha and also all the values which is being uh, coming here it should be more readable in a normal eyes and also user should be able to enter this text field what are the various test cases which we can write for text field you can refer my another video where i have clearly given a detailed test scenarios for text field you can refer that then here we should validate both correct uh, captcha entering here and another one is incorrect captcha if you enter correct captcha then i should be able to continue if i enter incorrect captcha then i should not be able to take it forward then the next type of uh, captcha is image based captcha basically here they will try to put a different puzzles to the end user who is accessing this application just to ensure that he should be able to identify these images and based on that you should be able to put the selection here so what are the different scenarios which we can write here this is same where all images should be able to display here and also whenever we select any images using mouse then appropriate images should select and if i am going to do a skip then the next images should come here or a new images should come here until unless if i am not going to solve this puzzle then it should not take it to the next page that is all the purpose of this image based captcha these are the various different captcha scenarios we have and these are the some of the text scenarios which we can write for this captcha functionality i am hoping you guys got a clear idea now what are the various different uh, test scenarios which we can write for this uh, different captcha functionality if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care